So I'm Catherine Bischoff and I'm the CEO of Sovereign Nature Initiative and we're all about reconfiguring the value of nature and trying to identify new funding mechanisms that support organizations that are protecting and restoring the Earth's biodiverse ecosystems. Polkadot has already proven to be a technology with a very low energy uh, footprint and so we want to continue to build on this and provide more opportunities for green narratives in that ecosystem and ways for the community and the projects in this space to engage in biodiversity protection and planetary, planetary restoration. So we've built the DEEP protocol, which is a decentralized ecological economics protocol, which synthesizes, digitizes and standardizes uh, data that we receive from our conservation partners and makes it available to be embedded into a digital asset. And that digital asset then becomes the funding mechanism for biodiversity protection. On top of that, the tech stack has uh, an interface called Real, and Real is the portal where any token can be in inputted and you can verify what impact that token is making in the real world. So the data that is connected to the asset is then visually uh, showcased to the asset holder and demonstrates how much funding has been raised for the particular organization, what that funding is being utilized for, the impact that's being made over time, and this is all captured on chain. We had two use cases out of the Polkadot community already, and the first one was uh, Moonsama lion cubs that were connected to real world lions. So we actually have a gaming avatar that is connected to a real world animal. So an animal that's living and roaming through the Maasai Mara of Kenya tied to an in-game utility uh, from that gaming community. The second one was a po-op for the Sub-Zero attendees, so distributed to all the attendees of the Dev Conference here in Lisbon. And all of these assets were connected to real-world entities in the form of dolphins and whales.